It's, okay, so some of you guys may know that uh, the M16 is not the greatest weapon. In fact, it might literally be the worst weapon in the game. Because I don't know if you guys have unlocked it or like use it, but this gun does no damage. If you have a burst single fire, it doesn't matter. You're most likely going to lose your gunfights. Well, at least with it being a low level. For me, this gun was horrible. Uh, starting off no attachments and everything. I was game maybe 10 kills a game. And I play hardpoint domination, so those games last quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, this gun takes time to get used to. But uh, eventually, I was able to get attachments, get used to weapon, and uh, start getting high kill games with it. But, yeah, this gun definitely takes time to get used to. And the camo, so man, those were hard. First, you get 50 kills like normal, and then need 10 double kills, 30 kills while crouch, and then 20 mounted kills. And then for all gold, is three kills while dying, and then for plat, is 25 long shots. These long shots were a pain, especially with the bounce from far away with the burst, and then the low damage that you get the that you actually do with the single fire, having to hit them like five times from far away, and not be able to kill them all the time. This one I suggest just finding like a lane and get the uh, pull cover, just sit it down and just wait for them to come. May take a couple games, but that's what I did. But uh, yeah, currently 5 out of 51 camels for a polyatomic. But uh, yeah, this was easily the worst gun out of all of them. And these are attachments I've been using for uh, long long shots. The FTAC Ripper 56, the Gauge 9 Mono, the 11.5 Carbine Trout. The VOK 4.0 optic and then the Corio Pre Presio factory, is that what it is? But yeah, that's what I've been using to get these long shots. And surprisingly, over it being that bad, it only took me to like maybe five to six games getting good map. But yeah, there's the M16, worst gun in the game.